So this could actually lead to the termination of Royce Gum's channel. And then you're probably thinking, ah, you're bullshitting, you're bullshitting. There's no way possible that a big company like YouTube are going to get one of their big creators and terminate their channel. That's, that's bullshit. It's bullshit. Well, actually, Royce Gum fans that are watching this right now, you're wrong. Your daddy, your lord, your saviour, Royce Gum, could actually get his channel terminated. Just like the other day when he got terminated on Twitch. The other day, Royce Gum put on Twitter how he wants to go on Twitch to do some streaming, stream some Call of Duty. And then he came on to Twitch just to discover he's been terminated from the website. Now, to be honest, there's no actual specific reason to see why Ricegum got terminated on Twitch. They kind of just banned him for no reasoning whatsoever. There are reasons in the past of what Ricegum has done which is bad, but they didn't actually say any rules broke by Ricegum. They just completely terminated his channel with no explanation. I, I mean, it might be the, the fact that he recorded tons of conversations with random girls without consent. Or maybe or maybe it was uh, the view botting, you know, when he bottled all his views at the starting of his Twitch career. Or maybe it goes back to the old classic, asking a rape victim if it felt good though. <laughs> No, no, but <laughs> good, though? no, I didn't. So there are obviously plenty of reasons to why Ricegum got banned, Twitch just didn't state them. So it's clear that big companies aren't afraid of getting rid of some of their biggest curators. We've even seen YouTube in the recent years push away curators and kill channels. Leafy and Anision, two channels which don't exactly look good on the website. One of them bullies kids, one of them threatens to lock his ex-girlfriend up in a basement. These channels probably don't look very advertisement friendly. So what have YouTube gone and done? They've basically killed their channels. I mean, I don't really like Leafy and Anision, and I especially don't like Anision, but it's clear that there's something going on in the algorithm not to promote channels like Leafy's and Anision's. So when a company doesn't like these channels and they don't think it's advertisement friendly or they've broken rules, they're not actually going to stop and think, oh, he's got a lot of subscribers, he's got a lot of viewers. No, they're probably going to get rid of him. Obviously, there are some people out there who do have this level of popularity where they aren't going to get terminated from the website because they bring in that much traction to the website. But I'm going off topic here. Let's go back to the topic of Ricegum getting terminated. Around a month ago, as we all know, I'd have dropped a content cop on Ricegum. And one of the points in the content cop was that Ricegum made a clickbait challenge six Six months ago, which was meant to have a winner announced after two weeks off the challenge. And to this day, no winner has been announced. And you're probably thinking, ah, that's, that's old news, that's old news. We all know about that. We all know Rice Gum's a cunt. We all know he's he's not giving money to people. It is old news. 7,000 Rice Gum videos later, it, it's old news. And I thought, yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Until I realized that this could actually get his channel terminated. We should still be talking about this because he still hasn't announced a winner six months after the contest was announced. Rice Gum literally stated in the video, after two weeks of the contest, he will give the winner with the most views $10,000. At the end of two weeks, the video with the most views that participated in the challenge will win a humongous prize. So go out get And it's been six months and it's been six months counting. So it's it's going up. It's not like he's paid the money. Where's the fucking money, Rice? Where's the money? Now, the reason this could get Ricegum's channel terminated is because it actually goes against YouTube terms and conditions. The YouTube content policy on contests states that you must give all prizes stated in your contest rules. So basically, if you run a contest on your YouTube channel, you're gaining likes, you're gaining subs, you're getting comments, you're getting popularity and traction to your channel, and you don't provide a winner, there's a good chance your channel is going to get royally fucked. YouTube are going to come over to your channel and just take a big steamy shit on it and just terminate it. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they did this to Ricegum. I'm not gonna say they're going to do it, I'm just saying they could do it. YouTube haven't exactly strayed away from terminating big channels in the past. Look at Drama that's been terminated multiple times in the last few years. Even I Hate Everything in 2016 randomly got terminated on YouTube. There was no actual specific reason to I Hate Everything getting suspended, it was just something to do with the YouTube guidelines being broken. When obviously they weren't being broken because it's I Hate Everything and he just makes normal ass good fucking quality content. Maybe I can understand Drama Alert getting suspended, but it just should show that YouTube aren't afraid of terminating some big channels. So don't be surprised to see Ricegum get terminated on this website in the next six months if he hasn't provided the money. And obviously there has been some controversy over who actually won the contest because you can't see back to six months ago of two weeks after the event of who had the most views at the time. Because the most popular video now from the clickbait challenge could have overtook the original winner of the video. And then there was also problems that people were clickbaiting the Manchester tragedy which happened six months ago. And yeah, I can understand that Ricegum doesn't want to give money to people that clickbait a tragedy because clickbaiting a tragedy just makes you a cunt. Clickbaiting in general is seen as a bad thing, but then clickbaiting a tragedy to win money as well, but that just makes you a fucking cunt, just a complete outright cunt. But to be honest, I know it's bad. I, I, I do know it's bad, but you didn't state in the rules that you can't clickbait a charity. You didn't state any specific rules. It's also your fault that you did this. But then back on the other side of YouTube, Colossal is Crazy has been claiming for quite some time that he actually won the contest. Now it's hard to work out because you can't actually see the views back after two weeks of the contest. But there is actually a way we can sort this issue. There's a way. Rice Gum can be fine with it. Don't get his channel terminated. I could not have to make any more videos on it. And everyone has a happy Happy and nice time. That is just, just give the money to fucking charity. Just, just give it, just give it to charity. That, that's all you have to do. People have been saying this for months. Just make it easy on yourself. Make it easy on everyone, so you don't have to reward somebody that's clickbaited a Manchester terrorist attack. Just give it 
to a charity. $10,000 to charity. It's done, it's over with. You're providing a prize, yeah it's not in the same context of giving somebody a prize who's actually won the tournament, but I'm sure it will benefit you more than giving money to charity than it would just not doing anything and just not addressing the issue whatsoever. Bryce even put on Twitter that somebody here had won the tournament and how he clickbaited a tragedy, so it kind of looks like he doesn't want to give the money to the person, but he did say DM, but after that there was nothing else said. Colossal even called him out and said how this person didn't win the tournament and how he won it, but to make it easy on himself, just Bryce Gum, give the money to charity. And then even a few days later, he posted a link to a charity and said donate the money to this charity. It's not like he just doesn't have the money. It's not like he can't just donate $10,000 to a charity because he does have the money. Then millions in the banks that he brags about in every single song. I'm pretty sure he can afford to donate $10,000 to save his ass and to help out some random people out there who need charity. It's going to do nothing but benefit Rice Gum. It's just going to make his name look better. He's given money to charity. There's nothing wrong in that. He's actually provided a price to his contest. That's good. It means he might have learned from his mistakes, but clearly he's not going to do it. Just give Colossal the money or just give it to charity. Don't be a stingy cunt because you are a stingy cunt and it's clear somehow you're stingy. You might you brag about your money but somehow you can't provide $10,000 to people. And it's not like you're randomly giving them $10,000 and you don't want to do that. I'd understand. I don't really want to go give someone £10 if they don't deserve it but this is something you owe. You actually set up a contest and said you will give $10,000 to somebody that wins this contest which you haven't done. I genuinely just believe he's not paying up because he's a narcissistic cunt. Rice gum just doesn't want to admit he was wrong. How can you brag so much about owning so much money, but then not pay a fucking tiny fee compared to what's in your bank account to charity? So could this actually result in Rice Gum's channel getting terminated? Yes, it, it could. It says in the terms and conditions, if you break the terms and conditions, you could result in your channel getting terminated, which Rice Gum has done here. He has broke the terms and conditions and he's benefited from it. He's gained views from this video. It got over a million views. He earned money from it a contest which he hasn't paid up on. So six months down the line, who knows, Rice Gum's channel could get terminated and it might not be here anymore if he hasn't paid up the money. I mean, YouTube should terminate his channel. It says in the rules, if you break the rules, you're gonna get punishment. And he's broke the rules. I've said this about a thousand times now, Rice Gum has broken the rules. In conclusion, Rice, just donate the money to charity, mate. Don't be a fucking bellend. You're just, you're just a bit of a cunt as it is. So just do something good for once in your fucking life and donate $10,000 to charity. That is the end of the video, people. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Cheers for watching, people. Have a good day. Peace.